What up, my people, and welcome back to R&R &R Sports Home on the Road Trip. I'm your official voice of youth high school and now collegiate sports as well, Chad Ricardo. Today, I got a very special guest in the building, my main man from the Buffalo Bulls, Jared Patterson, all-world running back. Hey, thank you very much for joining me today. Oh, man, thanks for having me, man. You, you already know. Now, listen, family is really important to me. We're, we're, we're going to get to everything on the football field, all your accomplishments, all of your accolades. But family is really important to me. I've known you for a while, so I feel like, uh, like, like we're family together as well. So I want to start there with you. You, of course, have your twin brother, James. The two of you are very close. He's uh, up there at Buffalo with you. How does you all's relationship, how has it helped you? How does it guide you? How does it push both of you towards greatness? Uh, you know, just having, you know, like a person like that, you know, uh, to have a common goal, you know, it's, it's easy and, and it helps, you know. You know, when, when I'm down, you know, when, when I'm going through stuff, you know, I, I can have a person, you know, right right next to me, you know, that's going to help me, you know, through, through the bad and, and through the good times. And we just push each other to be great. You know, he, I know he's not going to let me slack off. I'm not going to let him slack off. And it's a game changer, man. Uh, like I said, it, it's just a blessing to be here and to experience something like this. And and, man, and, and, I, and I couldn't do it, do it with anybody else and, and, and I did, at any other university. When I look at uh, at social media now, you know, I mean, you, you got the whole DMV that's at your back right now. The whole DMV is supporting you. One of your biggest fans, of course, is your mother. She's on social media. She, she's shouting you out as well. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to your brother to know that you've got the community, you've got the support of everybody in the DMV rooting for you? Uh, it means a lot, you know. I mean, it just makes, you know, me and him go even harder. You know, just just to show that you know kids from my area can go go to D1, you know, universities, or just go on the next level and, and ball out and really just put on for the area. You know, uh, I feel like you know the Merlin area, DMV area. You know, we have some of the best talent, and and, and, and some other states don't really realize that, and that and that's what we just want to show to, to to high school kids and and just young kids that you can go other other uh, states and other universities and and ball out. I want to take this uh, to the field now. Uh, your senior year at Pilate, I, I recall coming to some of your games, coming to some of your practices, I had never seen an individual uh, student athlete galvanize an, an entire team the way that I saw it with you. I mean, you were able to, to pick up those other 40, 50 student athletes and carry them all to greatness. Not just when you had the ball in your hands, but with your leadership as well. Despite all of that, you were under recruited. The colleges out there, they weren't checking for you the way that they should have. And now look at who it is that you've become. How did being under recruited even throughout your senior year, how did that help you and motivate you to get to this point? You know, it just made me, you know, just more motivated, you know, to, to, to prove myself right. You know, that I can play, you know, with, with the big dogs. I can play on this level. You know, not just because I'm 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 so called undersized. You know, I can't play on this level, but I definitely did something. You know, for me, it helped my mentality. You know, my mindset, and and I'm just thankful I went through that. And I had people in my corner, like like Coach Justin. You know, that, that really harps to me that you only need one school. You know, you no, know, and you just run with every opportunity you get, and, and that's what I'm doing. You know, it's, it's no secret. You know, uh, of course I'm I'm an underdog. I always been one, but I I embrace it more more than anything, and it, and it, and it's helping me, you know, it's feeling me to keep even even going and never being satisfied with my performance or anything I do. I just, I just always got to get better. A few years back, of course, Khalil Mack came out of Buffalo. And when he did and he made it to the NFL, a, a lot of people didn't know how good he was because they hadn't seen him. He did a, a lot to put Buffalo on the map of the national picture. Now there's you. You're galvanizing all of the fans there now, bringing uh, national attention to Buffalo. What does it mean to you? How does it feel to be that next big thing that's putting Buffalo on the map? You know, it's it's humble, humble, you know, humble feeling. You know, by the end of the day, at the end of the day, I still gotta uh, keep working. You know, I, I wanna, you know, when it's all said and done, and my time up is here. I wanna be in that category with with Khalil Mack. You know, you know, when the way talk about Buffalo. 
and I, I really, like I said, I embrace it. You know, I gotta, I gotta keep working. You know, because he he definitely set set the uh, standard here, and 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 I'm just trying to uh, be in that category. You know, when it's all said and done, when 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 people bring up Buffalo, you know, they 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 talk about Khalil Mack, and then my name's in that category. I had a feeling that you were going to start with humility there. That's that's another one of the reasons why I love you. That that that, that was a good answer. The, uh, the the NFL coaches they'll like that. Yeah, you know, um, I always been that type of type of guy. You know, I like I feel like um, not being the the typical five star guy. You know, I was really never the guy. You know, for for I feel, I feel like that that plays an advantage to me, you know, just stay grounded, you know, just always want to get better. And, and that's just me and how my, my parents raised me. And I just, I just stick by it. Through all of your accolades and awards, and we would be here for the next five to 10 minutes if I listed off each and every one of them. Through all of your accolades and awards, uh, here in the off season, when we first saw Reggie Bush acknowledge you as one of the top five running backs in all of college football. I mean, this is Reggie Bush, one of the best players to do it at this level, and he's saying that you are one of the top five running backs in the country. How did that feel when you first saw that? Uh, it's crazy, you know. Uh, I shed a tear, you know, and, and <laughs> I, had, I had, you know, Coach Justin called me, you know, he's seen it, and, and like he said, I just shed a tear because, you know, it's just, it's so much work, you know, being put in behind the scenes that people don't really see, you know, and, and like I said, just motivate me to keep keep getting better. You know, like I said, I never, I never was that the highly talked about guy. You know, you no, know, and 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 like this is definitely you know new. But at the same time, I just it's tunnel vision. You know, I'm just focused on on you know getting better. You know, helping my team, being the best leader, and just being a best football player and, and best young man I can be. And Reggie didn't stop at uh, listing you in the top five. He actually mentioned your name with arguably the GOAT, Barry Sanders. That had to feel good, but then Barry Sanders looked you up and tweeted out that he agreed. What was that like? Uh, it was unreal, man. Uh, you know, Reggie, <laughs> Reggie, Reggie Bush, then, then Barry Sanders. You know, uh, Reggie Bush is ultimately the, the best, you know, college player, you know, and then Barry Sanders is definitely one of the best running backs, if not the best running back, you know, you know in a Hall of Famer at, at that. You know, it's just unreal. It just makes you, you know, more motivated to, to, to get on their level, you know, to, to, to get to their level. And I'm not going to stop working until I, until I get on their level. Like, and, and, that's just, and that's just how, how I think. And, that's just, and I think that's the right way to approach it. And it just motivates me. I get you out of here on this. No Mac student athletes has ever won the Heisman. At this point, there is conversation that you could potentially be in that race, the Heisman Trophy race. For all of the student athletes out there that are watching this right now, all of the undersized, all of the under recruited, all of those who are not getting the attention that they potentially deserve, what message do you have to them to let them know that they could one day end up where you've gotten to uh you know never say never you know nothing's impossible always just believe in yourself you know you know there's all always going to be doubters naysayers but always just believe in yourself and and you know hard work really pays off you know doesn't matter what school you go to you know what what if it whether it's fbs fcs it doesn't matter what level you play at if you really really you know want to make a mark man hard work pays off you know determination and you just got to go get it and just let nobody steer you wrong and just go get your dream. Shout out, shout out. Jared Patterson, thank you so much for stopping by the show. And I, I tell you what, brother, for everybody at ESPN, everybody at NBC, when Jared gets drafted, <laughs> I got the first interview. Thank you very much. Yeah, you already man. know. <laughs> you already know, man. Thanks for having me, man. Definitely. Excellent.